<laughs> Brighton, the jewel in the UK seaside crown, where man and his best friend can play by the sea. <laughs> Six months ago, Matt and Leon took a huge gamble. Oh Have a look at that, Pongo. Get out of here. Hey. They opened the South Coast's first super-sized dog hotel and spa. For the boys, it's been a bumpy ride. <laughs> You're going too fast, Leon! <laughs> Come on, get on! Leon! Do you want to help? Oh. Despite the canine calamities, the boys are dogged in their determination to make their dreams come true. So we've put everything into this. We've remortgaged the house, we've even put it on credit cards. Oh my God, you can't tell our mums off. <laughs> Welcome to the Dog Hotel. Oh! This time, as the hotel opens its doors to the public, Brighton's brightest bow wow show off their posing prowess. Oh. All the nice boys love a scaffolder, especially when he's easy on the eye. You're more than welcome to take your top off. Stores. Stores? And Matt and Leon get their wires crossed. Stores. Don't do that face. It makes you so... Oh, <laughs> you're <just> vile. <laughs> When the sun comes out, Brighton comes into its own. But that sun's keeping customers away, and the Dog Hotel is having a quiet moment. Perfect timing for charity worker Ruth Narricott to visit. Um, I've come for a little look around, okay. if I can. Um, I work for Canine Partners, and we mm -hmm. train dogs for people with physical disabilities. I train the puppies locally, so I wondered if we could um, see if we can do some work together. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Canine Partners is a charity that teaches dogs to assist people with disabilities. These pooches are trained to help with specific day-to-day -day tasks, like opening doors and even doing the washing. So we've got two arenas. So this is our first arena. arena down here. What she wants to do is to bring some of her puppies along and to um, do a little training course here at House of Hugo. So it's really, really good to help out such a great charity. Well, it's great to do something a little bit different. We quite often do off-site classes, so we may go into town or we may have a train ride or a bus ride or something like that. So we try and have fun with the puppies. And they have their own little uh, beach hut as well to have a nice, cosy oh, evening. Oh, that's great. You know, you're teaching them about different environments and um, different sights, different sounds, different smells. So it's a boutique-style hotel that we have. So as you can see, we're not a kennel environment whatsoever. Yeah. OK, so this is our spa room. We have an aromatherapy massage therapist. Uh, and also we do, like, mud wraps, we do facials, uh, we do... Can I come? Oh, hi. <laughs> Book yourself in. <laughs> well, it's very different. They're obviously absolutely obsessed with dogs and everything to do with them. Okay. Um, and with that enthusiasm, you know, that's what we want. Okay. It's going to be a great experience to come along. The hotel's now been open for six months and things are going well, but they still need to generate more business. We've got a massive centre here and our outgoings are huge. So, you know, we have to constantly get new customers in, be creative, so we're planning to have an open day. That way we can showcase our centre and kind of what we offer here. And that everyone can see behind the scenes, because not a lot of people get to, do they? No. Customers never see the two busy pack rooms heaving with happy hounds or the hydro pool in action. And groomer Rhea is tucked away in her salon. So for the first time, the open day will reveal all. Good girly, that's it. Very good. When Ruth returns at the weekend, Excellent. the second pack room is empty and a training session with her puppies is in full swing. Over there, the little male Goldie is Blake. He's um, seven months now. Oh, okay, yeah. And Tara, yeah. the little Goldie over there. She's 14 months old. Yeah. And, and this is Evie, and she is nine months old now. Yeah. Obviously, these are all still young dogs, so they'll all make mistakes. They yeah. all get things wrong. Ruth's in-depth training covers all aspects of life for wheelchair users. If the wheelchair is turning towards them, the person will say, move. 
and then if the dog is going with them, it's this way. As a canine behaviourist myself, it's so interesting to see Ruth with the puppies and what she can train them to do. Good girl. Wait. The pups are taken on by the charity from eight weeks old and then they're looked after by volunteers for up to a year. Tug, tug, tug. So in that time they'll have learnt their basic commands, tug, touch and retrieve, and then they will move to advanced training. EV6. Because they are going to be working with somebody with a disability. The dogs have to be sort of 100% really on all their task work and their obedience work. Go through. Ah, ah. Good girl. Some of the people caring for the puppies have never had dogs before, so they need to be trained as well. And Fallon down. Good girl. Anna down. is a foster parent to young pup Fallon, who's just 11 weeks old. But already she's following your hand. Mm -hmm. OK, so she knows that your treat bag is here. Sure yeah. Knows. So walk backwards. We've only had two proper sessions of training with, with a trainer. Good girl. The rest of the training we've been doing it at home. Hello, come here. I've never had a, a dog before, so it's a new experience to me. And, and I didn't know how much attachment you can create with a dog and how clever they are. So nice and jolly. Watching them in action, training those puppies, was so impressive. So I've had a chat with Leon, and for the open day, I really want to raise money for Canine Partners. If the open day is going to be a successful charity fundraiser, then the hotel needs to be looking its very best. Time for a makeover. First job, getting the scaffolding up. But Leon thinks he might have spotted a... distraction? So I'll just get out the pool and I go to the front to see my customer off and then, oh my God. I was like, what is that out there? There's like this group of gods just floating around on the scaffolding. You're more than welcome to take your top off. Really? Honestly, yeah. Are you not really warm? <laughs> How hot is that sun? I reckon it's about 90. Yeah. I'm hot anyway. <laughs> He was more interested about the, the tops off, where obviously... It was hot, I was worried they were going to end up with, like, I don't know, like, running out of water and stuff. I oh, know and I'm sure it. you were there, weren't you? S hosing them down. I didn't think of getting the hose. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> you can't look like that and not share it with the world, can you? Come on. Anyway, the guys did a really, really good job, and uh, we were really pleased with it. Yeah, can't yeah. wait for them to come back. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really excited about this open. Matt and Leon have had a stroke of luck. Regular client Ricky is an experienced events organiser. The boys are hoping he'll jumpstart their open day plans. Let's have a look around. Oh, it's a big old space, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big old space. <laughs> a lot of people, they drop their dog off and they never get to see what's going on behind the scenes. So the idea is to, almost a bit like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, let's like, you know, give them a ticket to have a look and see what's going on. We're probably going to have to push all the stuff. Yeah, the we'll move all like, the tractor tyres back. Yeah. It's really nice because we don't actually have to do that much to arrange it. I know that sounds really wrong, but it's really right at the same time because we're so busy. You just need to like, give it to someone else to do. And that, it, that's what he's doing. It's perfect. It's win-win. How long have we got? We've got under eight weeks from today. But we do need to go through health and safety, your risk assessments, because you've got people walking around yeah. that haven't been here before. Okay. Right. Well, luckily, we've got you on board with this, yeah, Ricky. Health and safety and a risk assessment. Yeah, right. <laughs> right over the head. Yes, yeah, so well, one arena with events and one arena with stalls. Yeah. yeah. Fab. That's Agility, amazing. the stands. The spa. What we're going to sell. The facials and that Aye. kind of stuff. Because that's what it's all about at the end of the day, pampering the dog. <laughs> not risk assessing anything. <laughs> You'd like to hide behind the smiles and the jokes, but I think the reality of it will dawn on them very quickly exactly how much organisation it needs. Ricky used to be a window cleaner, but seven years ago fell 40 feet, paralysing him from the chest down. He brings his dog Harry to the dog hotel for daycare. Harry is a very special dog, helping Ricky at home. Right paw, left paw. I decided to get an assistance dog because I thought if I ever sort of hurt my hand or injured my arm, then I can still be independent. I can just get a dog to do things for me around the house. Down. Over. 
I never actually contacted any of the charities because I found out there was like a good couple of year waiting list and I'm pretty impatient and thought I can, I can train my own one up in that amount of time. Harry, where's my drink? Where's my drink? Ricky has successfully trained Harry himself, but he's aware that not everyone can do the same. It took me a couple of weeks to get him trained up for fetching keys, remotes, um, picking up anything that I drop, which is the main thing that I wanted him to do. Button. Having Harry's been life-changing for Ricky, so he's desperate to make sure the Open Day's a success. The Open Day is going to be a great event. It's going to hopefully raise lots of money for canine partners. They do an amazing job for people who need assistance dogs. I'm hoping that on the day we can have a nice fun dog show. There's going to be lots of prizes, lots of people there and hopefully it'll be uh, lots of funds raised for the charity. At the Dog Hotel, it's the big decorating push before the open day. And everyone's in to help the boys paint the front of the building. But someone's not working at full speed. Leon, what are you doing? What? I've been looking through the window. I'm doing paperwork. Come and help painting. I've got to stay here. I'm for the absolutely and I'm roasting checking out here. And everything. Every time I think I've you're lazy. Go and get us some food. We're starving. Uh, and since <laughs> when did you butt in, lady? You're sitting there I'm doing nothing. Go and get some food. If your hands moved as fast as your mouth, you'd probably get it done a lot quicker. Uh, oh, do you know what? I'll go and get the burgers, yeah? <laughs> Happy. You could have just grabbed a paintbrush and come out and helped. I could have. You could have. That's correct. But I never. No, you never. Anyway, it looks great, though. Oh, it looks fab. Well done. <laughs> There's just two weeks left until the biggest event the boys have ever attempted to pull off. Me and Leon have done nothing for this. We have got so much hard work to do. My hair is going to be grey. Leon's probably going to leave me. <laughs> it's going to be so stressful, but hopefully it's going to be one positive, happy event. I've started taking bookings now for stalls. For stools? Not for stools. Stalls. What? Stalls. Stores? Stalls. There's no need to shout. I don't know what you're saying. Stalls. Stalls. What On... does stalls mean? Stalls. Or stalls. Why didn't you just say stalls? Stalls. The <laughs> stalls. Don't do that face. It makes you so <laughs> you're vile. <laughs> anyway, what have you uh, planned? What do you mean, what have I planned? What have you organised? I've organised the whole event. You've organised the whole event? I'm the one that organised to get Ricky Perrin to do the event. Right, <laughs> so or you've, you've put someone in place to organise it? Well, sorry for finding a good organiser. If it wasn't for him organising it, there'd be nothing organised, would there? Right. Hey, Ricky. Hi, mate. You all right? It seems that Ricky's got wind of the fact that without him, there'd be nothing organised, and he's here to have a word. Firstly, I've got some posters. Oh, fantastic. They've already been printed up and ready to go. Brilliant. On the back, I'm yep. afraid to say, there's a big list of jobs for you guys. <laughs> I'm loving your organisation skills, Ricky. I'm going to have to push you along on this. <laughs> I know. Seriously, we, we right. need this done in the next Brilliant. few days. We're on it. We're okay. on it. Have a nice afternoon. Catch you later. Bye-bye. So on the day, there's going to be so much going on. There's like a burger van, there's like a bouncy castle for kids. The agility equipment's going to be set up so like people can like have a go. And the best thing, there's um, like a dog show as well. And we came up with some really cool different classes. Best biscuit catcher. There's even like waggiest tail, handsomest dog, cutest puppy. I can't wait to see the puppies. It is just going to be a great, awesome, fun-filled, packed day. Oh, it's like a <laughs> football trophy. Oh, and look at these. How cool are these? <gasps> Rosettes oh, wow. for the day. How many classes is there? There's loads. All the dogs in the pack room get an even share of attention from the staff, but there's one daycare regular that everyone's got a soft spot for. <laughs> I know you love me, Barnsley, <laughs> but come on. My favourite dog's definitely Barnsley. He's a German pointer. Barnsley's in today, being super cute. Oh, I love Barnsley.
Barnsley. She's just so cuddly, affectionate, playful. There's no trouble with him. He's just gets on with all the other dogs. He's just gorgeous. He's quite vocal sometimes, especially before feeding. He, know, he kind of knows when four o'clock's coming up. Um, he starts to get a bit grouchy, you know, like most men do before they're fed. Barnsley's owner Sarah uses the daycare three times a week while she's at work. I'm aware that he's a bit of a favourite, <laughs> that everyone seems to love Barnsley. He likes to make himself known, that's for sure. Being a pointer, they really love human contact, so he tends to lean on you a lot um, and likes to sort of rest his head on your shoulder. I don't think he's needy, I think he just likes humans as much as he likes dogs. <laughs> The pack room may be packed, but open day is tomorrow and the big cleanup needs to start. So what I thought is if we hoover all the way down there into reception. The corridor needs to be scrubbed, cleaned, hoovered, reception, the desk, all the shelves, the hotel suites, all the bedding needs to be washed. Everything needs to be scrubbed. The team's pulling out all the stops to make sure everything is ready. Everyone wants the hotel to make a big splash. But there's one thing nobody can guarantee. I don't even know if anyone's going to turn up. Oh, my God. What if only five people turn up? What if it's really hot and everyone goes on the beach and sunbathes all day and fries in the sun? No point worrying now. It's in the hands of fate. Come on, Jasmine, we haven't got all day. Sunday morning, bright and early, and the hotel's a hive of activity. The back arena's filling up with stalls. All is running smoothly. Maybe Ricky's had something to do with that. Well, the run up to the event has just been immense. It's just been a roller coaster because we had a timing issue from the very beginning. In the end, it all came together. All the staff gather for a last minute pep talk. If anybody asks you any behavioural questions and you feel uncomfortable asking them, just, say, just pass them on to me. And hotel tours, Mia and Jasmine. Grooming spa, Raya and Kirsty when she gets out of bed. Right, Barry, would you like hydrotherapy? Yeah. Yeah. I just want everyone smiling, happy and having fun and just show everyone, you know, our passion for dogs. Yeah? Oh, hi. High five, let's have yeah. a yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. At last, midday, and thankfully people are arriving. Oh, so cancel out the back. Yeah. New dogs! There are even more pooches in the hotel than normal. The agility equipment is proving popular, and who can resist a bouncy castle? Groom Array is in the salon giving speedy wash and blow dries. Time for the dog competitions to begin. Experienced judge Alexis Swain is doing the honours and the perennial favourite of biscuit catching is up first. Meanwhile, the boys are on the big cell with potential new customers. So they just use the room to go to bed, basically. It's a king-size bed, it's a flat-screen TV. So a memory foam mattress, um, flat-screen TV. I'm just going to be mirroring everything. Yeah, yeah. Saying, <laughs> felt like a tour operator, though. Like, you know, when you're doing a bus tour and like stuff? one after the other, you mean? And this is this, and this is that. But it was so good. Everyone was buzzing, everyone was smiling. It was so happy. I loved it. It, it was, was amazing. <laughs> Next up in the arena is the best trick round. And these pooches have got a lot of tricks up their sleeves. Oh, wow. Jimmy, you're awesome. oh that's fantastic. Well done. With all the hard work we put in getting this hotel up and running, it's so nice seeing everybody happy, you know, pleased with what they're seeing. It's brilliant, isn't it? It yeah, like, this... brings the whole community together. I'm really proud of what we've oh, achieved. Me too. I'm kind of pure remorse. The stalls are busy and there's plenty of money being collected for canine partners too. We have raised £500. £500? How amazeballs is that? Pure amaze. <laughs> the boys now have to make the toughest decision of the day. 
Which of the earlier winners will get the coveted best in show? I show my dogs, but I've never, ever judged a show, and I'm so excited. Got Poppy, waggiest no. tail. No, it certainly is. Me and Leon get to walk around the whole class, you know, have a little stroke with every single dog. And do you know what? I don't even know what I was supposed to be looking at. I, you know, was I supposed to be, you know, looking for, like, temperament, their teeth, their coat? Yeah. We'll be back in a minute. I like worry that I pick somebody and they think I've picked them because I'm like thinking they're the favourite and I just don't want to get grief off people. I feel dead bad though, because like. Oh, that's just... oh, you know. What sealed the deal at the end of the day was the X Factor for that dog. Best in show, first prize. Yeah, Nico. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't be turning into a diva. <laughs> yeah, that's our job. <laughs> It's been such a mad year, hasn't it? We put everything on the line to make this hotel happen. We have, but do you know what? Everything's come together at exactly the right time, and today has been a success. The boys couldn't have asked for more, with nearly 400 people through the doors. Can't say enough about them. It's brilliant here, absolutely brilliant. Oh, you are just so gorgeous. Matt and Leon are just so into dogs. We love them to bits. I think it's ours then. It's been amazing. We love it. Thumbs up. <sighs> I am so tired. Me too. I'm absolutely shattered. How exciting was that? The atmosphere was amazing. How many bookings did you take? Over 100 for the hotel. We've got four rooms. We might even need to, you know, look at new premises. And a big hotel. How exciting would that be? Do you know what? I'm going to sleep on it. Me too. I'm spent. But I can't wait to start thinking about it. It's a wrap. Let's oh. go. Oh, don't be so silly.